It's easy to work up a hunger and a thirst in Gibraltar, but fortunately there's plenty of options for eating and drinking. Giovanni Battista Saccarello arrived in Gibraltar from northern Italy in 1817. His descendants have created a coffee shop in a former warehouse on the street known as Irish Town, where you can get fresh daily specials and, if you're lucky, meet the owner. Saccarello's, I think, is a very authentic place. It's grown organically out of a company that was here so long ago producing, roasting and preparing coffee and it was a way for us to carry on thriving. We're outside the public market which has been here since the mid-1920s. You can still get top-notch fish and chips in Gibraltar but more exotic options are available in the side streets. If you don't eat meat, meet the Casbar, Gibraltar's only 100% vegan restaurant where I recommend the big black burger containing black beans and quinoa perhaps with a couple of cas balls on the side those are the signature falafels and all in a convivial cavern Gibraltar now has a distillery which uses a homegrown plant to create a unique gin it's made with, with passion and love um, my grandfather, he opened the first ice cream um, shop in Gibraltar in the 50s, and now we've opened the first distillery in Gibraltar. So, you know, it, it's genetically um, part of my DNA to, to do things like that for Gibraltar, yeah. So, why not? Why not a gin? A nice one. Perfecto. Thank you. You've heard of a tequila sunrise. Well, this is a gin on the rock but you can enjoy it while watching the sunset over the bay of gibraltar spain provides gibraltar with much more than just a good view the tapas habit has caught on here but with a twist in little bay indian tapas bar at ocean village i met the general manager kelly whelan what we have here, we have a selection of our starters which are great for sharing. All Indian food is great food to share with your friends, with your family. So this is a selection of our um, starter platters. So here we have, this is um, okra, so you'll know it as ladies fingers and we call it Jaipuri Bindi. So it's just literally slices of okra that have been deep fried in a grand flour batter spiced. Lovely and crunchy, these are really, really they're healthy and a little bit naughty. You like these? Gibraltar has a very good like history of it's got there's an Italian mix in there, there's a Spanish mix in there, there's the um, from Morocco, from Africa, and so, so Gibraltar does have its very own own place. It's got its own national dishes, but we just wanted to bring a little taste of North India over into beautiful Gibraltar. And finally, tell me about this drink. What have I got here? So this is our signature cocktail. Okay, so this is um, our barman. He, he makes um, a blend of the spices we use in the kitchen. He melts those down a, into a syrup. And then to that, he adds uh, fresh ginger. We've got cucumber. We've got ginger syrup, ginger ale, topped up with soda, lots and lots of vodka to give it that kick, and bitters on the top. It's an amazing, amazing cocktail. Masala mule. A masala Thank you. mule. So I'll take on a Moscow mule. <laughs> Did you get the kick? <laughs> to find out more about Gibraltar's place in the world, I'm dining with Dr. Jennifer Ballantyne, director of the Gibraltar Garrison Library in the Rendezvous restaurant. Gibraltar is a special place. Special people, everybody is welcome and uh, can enjoy lovely food when they visit. So come to Gibraltar and eat the world. Well, come to Gibraltar and be part of a globalised world and at the centre of this globalised world.